Servers typically do not store the information contained in a JSON web token. They simply verify and decode the token and then authenticate the user according to the data. But if the server is not properly verifying the token, then it is possible for an attacker to bypass authentication. And that's what we are going to look in this video. Let's start with little introduction and then we will see the practical part. What is JWT? JSON Web Tokens, or JWT for short, are a popular way to authenticate users and authorize access to resources. JWT are made up of three parts, a header, a payload, and a signature. The header tells us what algorithm was used to create the signature, the payload contains information about the user or session, and the signature is used to check that the token has not been modified. You will see how it looks like in the further part of the video. The next thing that you want to know is Signature Verification. And that's what the server side does. So when we use the JWT, we need to verify the signature to make sure that the message has not been modified since it was created. This is important because we need to be sure that the user or system that sent the message is who they claim to be. But the problem is, some developers use a non-algorithm for signature verification, which means that no signature is applied to the token. This can be a serious problem because attackers can modify the token and then re-sign it using the non-algorithm. This can allow an attacker to bypass the authentication process and gain unauthorized access. Maybe you didn't grasp all of the information that I just told you, but don't worry, we are going to see a practical demonstration and then it will make more sense. The goal is to log into admin panel and perform an unauthorized action. Let's see how we can bypass a JWT authentication via a flawed signature. So I'm using this amazing lab from both Swigger for demonstration. Here I need to create an account. Now I'm gonna open Burp and analyze the request. Here you can see the endpoint that logged me in with the username Viner, and in the response we can see that we are provided this token, a session token. And in the further request, the same token is being used to send the request to the server. What I'm going to do is send this request to the repeater first, and then change the path to slash admin. Send the request and the response says 401 unauthorized, which is pretty obvious because we are not the administrator. And the response also says that admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator. Okay, so the username should be administrator. Uh, you can also see this tab, JSON Web Token here. I downloaded this extension, JWT Editor, and that's why I'm seeing this. You can download it, so you can also experiment with the JWT token easily. So by clicking on JSON Web Token, we can see the decoded header and payload. And there we can see the algorithm and the sub value. The algorithm right now is RS256. We are going to change this to none. Means the token is not signed. Also going to change the sub value to administrator. Now the original token has been modified according to the values we changed. Before sending this request, let's first understand something. I'm going to open a JWT decoder in my browser. Here I'm going to paste the token that I copied. You can see that this token has three parts. The red one that is highlighted over there is the header, the pink string is the payload, and the rest of the blue string is the signature. So before sending this request, we need to get rid of the signature because the algorithm is already set to none. Why we are doing this? Basically because it's a good practice to remove the signature and avoid any kind of confusion. Because sometimes it might not work when you left the signature as it is. Okay, now let's go back to the repeater. And now I'm going to send the request without removing the signature part. As you can see, it says 401 unauthorized. It simply is not working. Now let's try to remove the signature part from the token. Don't forget to leave the dot as it is, if you don't want to get any JSON parsing errors. Now send the request again. 
and we are getting a successful response. Let's scroll down a little bit. And there we can see the admin panel and the users present, Weiner and Carlos. To complete this lab, we need to delete the Carlos user. So I'm going to click on show response in browser and delete the Carlos account. But for some reason, we are not able to do this. I guess because in the session storage, we are still using the same token that we were provided it as Weiner account. So what I'm going to do is copy this URL path, go to repeater and add it over here and send the request. Follow redirection and there we can see a 200 OK response. Also, the user was deleted successfully. That's it for today. I hope you learned something and enjoyed watching it.